increased productivity and greater quality. Successful manufacturing companies achieve these aims with innovative automation technology. Welcome to the Modular Production System or MPS presentation. Practice oriented training is the ideal preparation for the workplace. Training on the actual production plan is often not feasible since the risk of a malfunctioning system as a result of this will be too great and the production process will thereby be considerably disrupted. The modular production system as a practice-oriented training system is the optimum alternative. With this, trainees and skilled workers alike can be prepared for the professional demands of the job without any pressure of time. In practice, a team consisting of industrial and electrical technicians must be able to assemble, commission, operate, and maintain a production plan and find and eliminate any faults in a system. What does the MPS do? Depending on requirements, the modular production system can be used to reproduce nearly any function in a complex manufacturing process. The objective of the MPS is to process parts. Here we have a symbolic cylinder used for material handling only. and we can also process a cylinder complete with piston, spring, and cover assembly. In this presentation we are going to talk about the modular production system stations. This equipment is used in the industrial automation class at Texas State Technical College in Harlingen. The distribution station is a feeding device. The function is to separate a part from a magazine and to make the part available for the next process. The testing station measures parts. The function is to establish the material characteristics of the part, test the part, and to either separate out the part or to make it available for the next process. The processing station changes the material characteristics and or surfaces of bodies. The function is to drill a hole to different parts and to check the result of the processing after the cycle. The handling station allows material to flow. The function is to remove parts from the processing station and to sort the parts according to their characteristics. The sorting station is a sub-function of the handling station. The function is to sort parts according to their characteristics. The buffer station decouples individual stations while at the same time provides a buffer for parts. The function is to transport and separate out workpieces using the buffer function. The assembly with robot station puts together the component parts of a short stroke cylinder and assembles them into a functional device. The function is to assemble and to transfer the assembled cylinder to the next station. The hydraulic punching station is a production unit divided in steps. An example feeding, processing and transfer. The function is to separate out a part from a magazine, to punch a hole in the part and to rotate the part 180 degrees to transfer it. 
functional testing station represents a final goods inspection. The function is to test the functioning of the assembled short stroke cylinder and to either reject or make part available to the next station. We are now going to talk about the MPS installations. By means of combining different stations, it is possible to achieve installations with a wide range of different functions. With these installations, it is possible to deal with more complex training contents such as planning and project design, structured PLC programming, operation of installations, commissioning and maintenance of more complex systems, quality management, and industrial communication. With this, we conclude our presentation.